What is up? What is up? Grant David here again with Static Multimedia, and we're back with Young Deuce in the THC camp. Last week, we brought you an in-depth look at Violence Begets Violence, the new album from Jedi Mind Tricks, dropping October 25th, and we even got to talk to Vinny Paz. And I figured the only way to follow that interview up was with a second interview with the THC cloud hop in general, Young Deuce. Last time we did a feature with Young Deuce, our site blew up. We were talking about his Michael Jordan single, as well as the release of his latest mixtape, Hollywood Living. Now that Hollywood Living has already hit the streets and has the internet going nuts, Deuce has his site set on the horizon and plans to release three more mixtapes before the year is over. He's here to tell us a little bit about that and fill us in on the latest with all members of the THC camp. Here he is, Mr. Michael Jordan, the one and only Deuce, 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 man, uh, Deuce, how you doing, bro? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, I'm good, how about you? Uh, doing pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I got a text message from Vinny Pass today, so I was pretty excited about that. That's what's up, that's what's up. For sure, for sure. Uh, what have you been up to today? Uh, just working, just got my hair back, really just doing the studio. Very nice, very nice. Um, recording some new stuff for us, I hope. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. Uh, did you uh, happen to catch any of the BET ciphers? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, it was pretty successful, pretty good stuff at home, man. Which one was your favorite? My favorite? It was the shady one, I have to say. The shady one was the oh, really thing. For sure, for yeah. sure. Who, who who are you liking in the shady camp right now? You know, like Alice Slaughterhouse and uh, Yellow Wolf and all them. Um, Royce the Five Nine, he's he's out there. He's doing pretty good. Uh, I like a lot of his music and uh, Crooked Eye. Yeah. I like a lot of his music. Yeah. Uh, those are probably the most you know, I like out of the shady camp. For sure, I was uh. I was pretty pretty surprised though. I mean, Joe Budden went pretty hard on that cipher. Like, I did I did not expect those lyrics from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. Me neither. Uh, I didn't expect that guy to be probably the least favorite on him, but yeah, he had some hits. So there was some hard lines on him. For sure. And then you know, in in regards to that, um, a lot of people have been saying lately that you know how he. How he mentioned, he mentions Lil Wayne, he mentions, you know, the Watch the Throne album, the Jay-Z and Kanye West album. In my youth, I throw shots, the fab was dodging it, I'm grown, I ain't watching the throne, I'm sabotaging it. You see that four-headed monster in the storm loom, snipe him from a distance, the scope got a long zoom. You Super Mario thugs is in the wrong room, gotta figure here you won't get bigger if you want shrooms. Was left to me, I'd revive with the game be bout. I'd have took the wine out of Amy house. Enough rats from you scrub cats about cocking a snub bag. Wayne couldn't teach me how to love that. Um, do you think that he was taking serious shots at those people, or was it more of just, you know, kind of playful, kind of silly kind of thing? Uh, I mean, from a shady camp, I could see it being playful and silly, but Joe Biden's perspective, maybe, uh, I don't know about that. You know, he might be throwing some shots in there because... Uh, just the recent, uh, in the past stuff I've seen out there in the media world that you said you be taking shots at a lot of people. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just think it's, I just thought it was interesting because out of, you know, out of the entire Slaughterhouse camp, I don't think that he should be the one, you know, saying shit if he's serious about it. And... <laughs> But at that same time, I mean that the, both the Wayne line and the Jay Z and Kanye line, that, those were two of, one of my, two of my favorite lines in the whole in the whole in the whole thing. You know, I thought that shit was so tight. So, so it'll it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, if there's any response to that at all. But I, I personally don't think there will be. No, uh, I don't think it's gonna it was that big for them to recognize it and say something. I mean, it might catch Jay Z's attention, but. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, well, now the last time that we talked uh, was a little bit ago. It was a while ago. It was probably a couple months. Um, that was right after you dropped the Michael Jordan single, which did really well on our website. It got a ton of views on YouTube. Um, that yeah, it was it was fucking awesome. And that was that was that was right before you were about to drop the Hollywood Living mixtape. So you know, so what? Fill us in, man. What what's new? What's going on? Uh, well, Hollywood Living, I dropped that last month, and then right now, that, it, did, it did well, I mean, it did good numbers. I was actually in 
Philadelphia when I dropped that, so I didn't promote as much as I should have. Yeah. But me not promoting that much, I mean, it, it still did its numbers, it had better numbers than my recent mixtape, so, I mean, it was, it was a good work on that, and now I'm just ready to so hard. I got a three new mixtapes that I'm working on right now, and I'm, I'm waiting to drop the, the world. Um, damn, yeah, so three new mixtapes, not all solo joints though, right? Yeah, yeah, it's actually uh, all my solo, it's just me, uh, I mean, I don't have features and stuff on there, but it's really just me, I got uh, Twitter, 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 Twitter,
in and uh, one of my tweets that tweeted it like over a thousand times or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty funny, but I gained a lot of followers off that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> so you've been out in Hollywood for a while now. Um, who's the most famous person that you've either seen or met since you've been living out there? Uh, the most famous person in the world I've ever seen a lot. I've seen a lot. Uh, ways to look out. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen everybody. Everybody really, I mean, they'd be out here for, uh, I guess the little uh, award shows and yeah. uh, filming movies and stuff like that. They show up Hollywood Boulevard a lot to film movies, so. Yeah. I've seen a lot of famous people. Cool, cool. And you've been going to some pretty nice parties? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot. They have a lot of, like, just, like, a little after parties after the shows and stuff like that around here in Hollywood. Yeah. Popping from Thursday to Sunday. Cool, cool. So what exactly is your current living situation? Are you living with beer? Uh, yeah, a little beer, and then Keith, and then Wesley J, and then Mac. Yeah. What's, uh, what's, what's Keith asking up to lately? Uh, just going to school, working hard, trying to do the same with music, and chilling. Cool, cool. Where does he go to school at? Uh, he goes to the Musicians Institute. Oh, very nice. Yeah. You guys got a, you guys got a pretty, uh, pretty substantial collection of mixtapes now, um, and the thing that I noticed, you know, the, the artwork on all of them is very, it's very, you know, clean and clear and crisp, but it just, it just looks fucking official, you know. So, so who, who's, uh, who, who's great in this? Who's putting this out? Yeah, that's Peter Bowen. That's funny. That's, uh, yeah, he, he does everything. He's an artist. He, uh, designs the site. And he, I mean, he, he raps. Yeah. He graphic design and all that stuff. So he's dealing with that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I love the uh, the players only one, his players only mixtape. That was that shit was hot for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's beer. Yeah, beer's actually in uh, Philadelphia right now. He's doing some work down there, and he'll be back this week. Cool, cool, man. Um, you guys got any music videos in the works? Uh, yeah, we got uh, we're about to fly the music video uh, director down here in January. Uh, he's for uh, Avant Garde. Uh, ABG, yeah. uh, thank you, Gene, working right now, and uh, he goes to school up there. So I'm about to fly him down here and uh, get a lot of projects. Uh, I'm about to, the next video you'll probably see out is pulling out. It's a new single with uh, Kevin Nader's Corey. Uh, he's up there doing his thing with uh, his label Square Fit, so that's going to be big. Uh, so that'll be probably the next video you'll see. And we're going to start... Uh, Shooting a lot of our own videos, we're going to try some new things and uh, do it ourselves. And James, he's, he's, he's doing big things too uh, over there, so shout out to ABC for that. Nice, nice. Well, yeah, I can't wait to see that. And then the last time that we talked, you guys mentioned, or you guys were talking about the uh, the release of the THC clothing line. What's the, what's the latest word on that? Did those uh, clothes uh, ever come out? Uh, um, the, the TNT, they got, uh, the high club, just the uh, regular with the logo on it. They got that out in Philly, and that's gonna actually come out here. So, uh, you can hit one of us up, Dalo, or, uh, me, and Peter, up on Facebook, and if you see us, uh, find us on Facebook, we're on the high club, you'll find us, and, uh, you can hit us up on Google Street. Nice. And we're gonna start officially having a website and stuff on it here in the next month. And who's doing the designs on those? Is that beer too? Yeah, beer does all the clothing design, and we just we just design the clothing and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for sure, for sure. Hey, yeah, you yeah, you played uh, NBA 2K12 yet? Uh, I haven't played 2K12. I've been sweating. I need to go get that. Oh my god, you are missing out, dude, for sure. Yeah, I tried to get uh, the Michael Jordan phone on there, but it came uh, the, a little contest for saying they saying how it works for songs. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, 
fucking awesome, man. You, you what do you got? You got Xbox or PS3? Uh, the Xbox is programmed, uh, so we got the PS3 on this, uh, uh, we're trying to get a arcade stuff on that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, hopefully the Xbox will be fixed, uh, because I'd rather play Xbox on the sports game. Yeah, me too, dude, for sure. And yeah, did you hear the Carter 4? Yeah, why 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 do you think that is? Did you hear, um, sorry for the wait? All red plaid shirts, sending ass jeans on them goons at your front door. Top us out, ding dong. Did not change the game and put my motherfucking team on. I let my top a ring. Paca is my ringtone. Uh, I heard a couple songs on that. I actually liked a couple songs on that. Yeah. yeah it's surprising because I really don't like his music. Yeah. He, he's a good, he, he's a, he's a husband. He, one of the people in the game right now, but today, so. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just felt like, I personally felt like that on the Carter 4, you know, there was a couple tracks that he definitely could have um, taken out and then substituted some tracks from Sorry for the Wait, because I just feel like, you know, if you put the if you put Carter 4 and Sorry for the Wait together, it's like one full album, you know, and there's like a lot of, there's a lot of bullshit you can cut off of it. But so that's that's just where I was coming from the whole thing. So like I wasn't I was not that impressed. I mean like there were the tracks that were good were really good, but then there was like also some really bullshit tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I was talking about. Um, now at, and absolutely anyone who has been following you on either Twitter or Facebook knows that you are a chronic connoisseur. So yeah. you so you have your <laughs> so so you have your card out there. Oh uh, yeah, I do have my little card out here. That's what, how much do you gotta pay for that? Uh, I don't know for a while. I got for like fifty bucks. Damn, that's what, so yeah. so so. What's the what's that like? Just being able to you know run down to the corner store and you know pick up some bud. Uh, it's cool. I mean, to go to the dispensary, but now we just really uh, we got a delivery service, so we uh, we just follow the dispensary and get it delivered from the front door now. So nice. Leave that. Like how much? Is it, what, what, what's the price range on that shit? Like, you know, is it pretty average or is it more expensive? Because it's obviously, you know, really high quality shit. Yeah, um, there is there's some stuff that it, it can get expensive, but um, when, the more you buy, I mean, it gets cheaper, and like more you buy from a dispensary to hook you up. So I mean, we're buddy buddy with the dispensary, so we can get the hookups. So what what's the best strand that you smoke since you've been down there? The best strand I've smoked since I've been down here. The best strand is Snoop Dogg OG Kush. And why is that? Uh, I guess, I mean, he always talks about the sticky and that was sticky as well. That was not, I mean, when we, maybe, I mean, he didn't grind up. When he grinded it up, we stuck right back together. Damn, that's what's up. <laughs> Yes, the dog father. What do you expect? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. So, um, so when's the last time you talked to our boy Reed Dollars? Uh, I, well, I seen it. Uh, I called him today actually, and uh, tied it up with him. But before that, I haven't talked to him for probably two months, maybe. Yeah, what's he been up to? Uh, he said he went. He's been fishing, and I guess you know he's a white set now, so he's 
filling with his girlfriend and all that stuff. I mean, he's working and he's doing his thing, so. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, the only few things I'm talking about is staying out of trouble, you know how we get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely, definitely know. <laughs> all right, man, so. Moving forward, what are, what are your plans for the future, and um, you know what can we expect from Young Deuce and the rest of the Highest Cloud family? Where are you guys trying to go uh, coming up here pretty soon? Um, expect to see a lot of shows and a lot of visual footage of yeah. our day to day life. Like that'll be coming out with a lot a lot more stuff than we can have. And we're gonna start pushing a lot of stuff more. Uh, a lot of videos. We'll have a lot of videos coming out. And the Highest Cloud, we we, we just we push in and we want to put as much music out as we can and get everybody to know us and not have a co-sign. We want to do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We want to we want to get everybody out there to, to cloud hop, become our cloud hop. That's our fan base. So yeah. uh, we, just hope, we just hope everybody enjoys the music and enjoys what's coming up. We got a lot of crazy stuff for uh, us. Projects coming up, just everybody in the, the crew is dropping mixtapes after mixtapes, so just be ready for a lot of projects. Don't throw up your iPod, so we ain't got to worry about <laughs> All right, that's that's what I like to hear, man. All right, well, thank you so much for uh, you know taking the time out and you know talking with us. Really yeah, appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. Not a problem, and we'll just, you know, we'll put up the links to, you know, the mixtape and the Highest Cloud website so everyone can check y'all out. For sure, appreciate it. Not a problem. I'll see you later, Deuce Deuce. All right, thanks. Thanks.